All right, guys, what's going on? It's been a while, I know. I haven't posted a camping trip video in uh, quite a while. There's a few reasons for that. I mentioned before I don't like camping once it kind of warms up and it's just, you know, disgusting staying in a tent. And uh, the other reason is um, I'm moving. As you can probably see behind me, the stacks and stacks of boxes. So, yeah, more on that coming later. Going on a camp week, me and my buddy Charlie, a two and a half day trip, taking the camper up to uh, Lake Ontario some campground I've never been to before, but there's Shorewinds Disc Golf Course, and there's two full courses there to play. So I'm going to come back, dump the trailer, load on the boat, and head back down to the Allegheny Reservoir for a couple-nighter uh, boat trip. So I'll bring you along. We'll see what happens. Peace. <laughs> to hook up the camper here and of course it's down pouring. We've been in worse. We got a big uh, rainstorm just came over us here so hopefully that passes uh, but it might be kind of ending up where we are actually going so I'm not sure the timing is going to work great on that but we'll just have to see. Keep coming! here and got set up uh, basic setup we still got some minor tweaks and adjustments to make but we're like maybe 75 100 feet from the uh, Lake Ontario shore right here a little bit on a cliff so you can't really get down to the water right here but it's still pretty cool looking so here's my setup I get this side pretty cozy still got to put a little light and a fan on this bar Charlie's side
the house up there. Okay, Swallow Hollow Nature Trail. Let's see what this is all about. Swallow Hollow Nature Hiking Trail. Done. Add it to the list of through hikes we've completed. All right, so now we're at Medina Falls. No idea. bunch of uh, waterfalls and hiking and whatnot today and then uh, there's a couple disc golf courses here so we played 18 holes of that and uh, it's just friggin so hot out we've just been kind of chilling on the AC in here and just about to get dinner going so <sighs> dying man All right, what's going on everybody? Just got back from the camper camping trip and I'm um, just switching out gear and gonna ship right off into the boat camping trip. We have launched. We got a full boat. Some lake it is.
So we uh, tried to go to uh, Hooks Brook, I think it's called, but uh, it's on the west side of the reservoir, but it was full of people. Obviously, because they get a lot of shade over there, which is why we wanted it. I'm taking site 11, which is right here. And Charlie's taking site 8 back there because it's a little bit more shady and we got a lot of room. It's going to get all the stuff from down there up here. All right. Whew. Tent set up. Kind of got some things set up. Still got some tweaking to do, but it is so damn hot out. I just threw my trunks on. I think I'm going to go take a dip and finish the rest later. We got a two-nighter here at Handsome Lake, one of my favorite spots. This site had already had some wood here. There's some more wood up there, and then we brought some wood still down on the shore we gotta get. Haven't had this site exactly before, and it's the one that happens to have the uh, sign. Can't beat the view. I think I say it every time. Step two, cheers. All right guys, what's going on? Just uh, took a little dip in the water here. It's friggin' hot out. It's supposed to be like 80 degrees when the sun goes down which is a bit much. I think I told you I haven't been posting videos much lately because I don't really tent camp when it's hot out. We're making an exception for camp week. All right, I'll show you my setup. This is a new tent. I've had it out uh, one or two times just casually. It's actually the same tent that I normally bring my backpack and set up, the Alps Mountaineering Lynx 1. This is the Lynx 3. It's just the three-person version of that same tent. I always bring two poles and it's up. It's got two doors and two vestibules. The only difference for this trip, my bag full of gear, climate pad, big Agnes 40 degree bag, even though I'm probably just gonna sleep on top of it, uh, Wise Owl pillow, random gear. But I figured I'd bring this one today in case it rains. I got a little bit more room inside. It is plenty spacious. I actually wish I would have went with the two person, but here's what it is. I got this brand new cooler and that's an igloo. It's got these big wheels, huge. It's got this tray with this pull out handle here, some dry storage. It's got bottle openers on both sides. It's a monster. Worked through me a going away party, and that was my present.
I'm not sure if I mentioned it in this video or not already, but uh, here we go. I think in the opening I mentioned you've seen all the piled up boxes in my garage and that I was moving. So the deal is uh, I haven't been filming a lot of camping videos, A, because it's hot, B, because I've just been spending every free moment packing up everything I own. The reason for that is I'm gonna be moving down to Nashville, Tennessee. The girlfriend was offered an incredible employment opportunity that you know, she couldn't refuse. So we're packing up everything and shipping on down there, finishing up camp week. I'm home for like two days and then uh, we're out of town just to get you up to speed. Skunked again. Officially it for tonight guys. I will uh, catch up with you in the morning hopefully for pack out and load up and boat trip back to Willow Bay where the car is. Alright, just got up. It's just uh, 10 after 6. Packed up the uh, stuff inside the tent. Just gotta get the tent packed up, pack up the rest of camp, then hit the, uh, hit the water. Alright, we're on the boat. Here we go. All our stuff. And uh, we're hitting it. There we go. <laughs> Thunder uh, clouds rolling in. Made it 
get back to the dock just in time. It is lightly raining. Looks like a thunderstorm's coming our way. So uh, looks like we broke down camp just in time. Whew, adventure. Thanks for stopping by. Till next time. Peace.